for him and stand on what price was paid for you. See your enemies defeated. See yourselves as more than conquerors because that is what I have made you to be. This earth is mine and I have given it to you. No more let them control you and enslave you when they do not have the power or the authority to hold you hostage. Take what is yours this day, saith the Lord, your Redeemer. Now I want to read, of course, all of it all over again. But especially this, this last um, two paragraphs that he gave me separately. Now listen to this. My children... No longer be deceived. No longer accept defeat. I have been in so many states all over the United States of America. There are so many people that are waking up. There are so many people that are coming into the body of Christ and being baptized. It is amazing, truly, what God is doing. But also I have seen in many states all over this country. And the body of Christ with legalism and with religiousness, they are being deceived. God has been giving many warnings on what to do with this particular matter. And how we need to separate ourselves from legalism and religiousness. Because what it is, is deceiving the body of Christ out of what is rightfully yours. Again, I'm not going to go over that whole entire teaching because I could go over all of it again because I love it so much. But you go back to the children in the, of Israel in the wilderness. They were deceived by religion. They were re deceived by evil reports and religious leaders that led them to turn against God, to worship a golden image, and those, that whole entire generation, the older generation, the ones that were deceived by legalism and religion, they never saw the promised land. God's even saying, woe to those that are falling for man's doctrines. When God tells you to do something, it doesn't matter where you are, it doesn't matter who you are. Obey the instructions of Almighty God. God wants to separate His church. He wants to let us rise up in His glory. That way His glory, His anointing, is not limited anymore. Unbeknownst to us, the body of Christ, we limited God for many years. Not everybody, not all churches. Definitely not everybody, definitely not all churches, but a lot. A lot of churches didn't even invite God into their services because they just wanted to have it from this time to this time. And the preaching could only be this so long. We could only have this and we could only have this. The Holy Spirit wasn't even invited. Because that is what keeps the power of Almighty God restricted in the body of Christ. So God is saying to us today, listen, my children no longer be deceived, no longer accept defeat. We accepted defeat and didn't even know it. We were allowing defeat. We allowed defeat in our churches. Now, again, I didn't come from a church like that, but I've seen churches like that. I've seen people like that. God is saying, no more lay down and quit. Stand on my words and watch how fast your enemies scatter before you. Take my authority I have given to you. High, a high price was paid for that gift. What's the gift? The gift of authority. A gift of the dominion and the power in this earth. The gift of the name of Jesus Christ. The sacrifice of that blood of Jesus that was sacrificed for us. That is a gift from Almighty God. That gift that we have, that power, the authority, dominion, that gift that we have was deceived away from most of the church. And that's why most of the church, there's a lot of the church that won't even believe this today. Oh, that's not true. Prophets aren't for today. Healings aren't for today. 
Oh, you can't speak an unknown tongue? Oh my gosh, that that's not, doesn't work anymore. That is Satan deceiving God's people out of what's rightfully ours because your prayer language is really a perfect language between you and God. It's even in the, it's even in the Bible. And I'm not even going to get into that right now. For those that are, are looking, look at the Romans. Start with Romans chapter 8 and verse 26. If you don't know how to pray, that's where you look for that scripture, okay? I'm not going to get any more of that because I want to go over this rest of this prophetic work. And I'm not here to judge. So Julie, what denomination are you?